Hi, this is Starkey Sowers. Welcome to the Nutrition Mission Podcast from Clark's Nutrition and Natural Foods Market. So the idea of this, Jessica, is to bring all sorts of things to the public's view as well as to some audible situations. So if you're driving down the road or you're doing this, you can listen to some of the episodes. We're going to have all sorts of topics, everything from like tea to sports nutrition to keto diets and the popular diets of the time. You're excited for this. So excited. So make sure you guys subscribe to our channel and you can go find us on YouTube, like Starkey said. So are you guys ready? All right. We're all about the nutrition, nutrition mission. mission. All right, this is Starkey Sowers. Welcome again to another Nutrition Mission podcast brought to you from Clark's Nutrition and Natural Foods Market. So Nikita. Yes. Back for round two. Round two, baby. Here we all go. Right. So mm-hmm. the Zao Company. Yep. All right, so we kind of laid out a foundation of what Zao was, mm-hmm. or what it became, obviously what it's becoming. Yes. I feel like one of the things that's really kind of taken you guys into another space is sports nutrition. Yes. Kind of agree with that. Absolutely. And I was really grateful. So I'm on the innovation team right. for Zao. Yeah, I wanted to talk about that. So I'm glad you're going to talk about Oh, that. yeah, yeah. And it just is so fun when you get to formulate a product yourself, yeah. you know, well, with my team and then be able to talk to it and really understand the depth of it and know that like, you know, with my background in gymnastics, right? That was my life. I was yeah, competing to be an Olympic your, gymnast. Gig, right? Mm-hmm, yeah. So, so I was training with so Bela Caroli. And your mom's from Hungary. Yep. Dad's from England. Yep. So we blend gymnastics with soccer. <laughs> yeah, well, my mom was actually a professional skier. Oh, geez, yeah, that's for the crazy. Hungarian Olympic team. So, wow. did yes. Did she ever get a medal? She didn't. She no, sorry, Hungarian national team. Excuse me. National I'm mixing team. my my information with hers. Yes, yes. but yeah. Okay. So she she was doing that. My dad's played soccer his whole life, and then I started gymnastics, um, and then that was my whole life. You know, yeah. leaving school early, switching schools to be able to get to gym. Like that's right. all I know is no, handstands. No, I mean, that's yeah. gymnastics is first, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. yeah, and it was great because I feel like that built me for every. Everything in my life. It built me from getting into bodybuilding, which I feel like came so easy to me yeah, because my like, abs were already yeah, built. Right, 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 it was just building right, them out right, at that right. point, you know, to my discipline, my discipline with my diet, oh, my yeah. discipline with work and how I, my life is in general is just there's so much fun, but structure yeah, uh, yeah. there. So a lot of nutrition or excuse me, a lot of gymnastics. Then again, I went into bodybuilding, learned a whole lot oh, from yeah. that. That's loved a whole other world, isn't it? Oh, it's you know what, you guys, if you haven't done it, it's something that is like incredible to do at least one time even if you just try the diet for a day it gives you such a respect that you look on the outside and it's not just taking steroids it doesn't work that way trust me right you know it's a lot of hard work and against steroids yeah yeah and and and, you know and to each their own but it's not that you can just take them and then think that you're going to become big does it no yeah and and, you know you hear especially mm -hmm. the guy world you hear that all the time they go well if i took steroids i'd be able to do that i'm like no uh, no sorry (laughs) no bro there is that you ain't going to be that no steroids gonna no ronnie coleman didn't just sit there and take steroids okay he worked his ass off as to get well to that as he had point. The genetic foundation for which it. he right. did. He had a he had a great build, you yeah. know. But he worked so hard and just like everybody else. And so, um, yeah. So sports nutrition, bodybuilding. You know, uh, studied nutrition in school. I studied chemistry in school. And so I was like, I know this is. And you're a biochem major. Life. That, that yes. was your that mm-hmm. was your school. Biology and chemistry, yeah. exactly with the focus as as nutrition. So that um, looks, that gives you the foundation mm-hmm. to formulate some cool stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's kind of where like. You know, I got when I got into the formulations. First of all, I have my dream job. It's still so hard for me to say it out loud, like that I can do this. I mean, I'm so grateful every day. I'm, I don't work. I don't have a job. I have what I love. I never go to work either. Never. I, if, why would I go to work? No. So I don't care it's if like, it's Friday night, Saturday. Night. This is what I'm doing because yeah, this is right. what I love. Yeah. This is what I what I breathe. You That's know. The passion. So bringing that into all these products, and so everything we do at Zao is super high quality. Okay. To start with, we make all of our products in Ogden, Utah. Okay. We have a massive, beautiful, state-of-the-art facility. We have our scientists. We test every single thing from start to finish. Yep. Okay, yep. That's how it's supposed to be done. Yep. It needs to be tested, whether it's a pesticide, whether it's gluten. It depends on the product. depends what it is. Yeah. We test all test the way through for quality. The mm-hmm. And then when we work with raw material suppliers to get those raw materials, we ask them, are you sustainable? You know, How do you upcycle? How is this quality? How is right. this organic? Right. I mean... And don't just give me something organic. I want to know how you're working with the farmers. I want to know all the way through step one to gets in my hand that that is quality, that that is clean. Right. And so me and my team, Max and Rachel, we formulate everything for our company and we bring a lot of love and a lot of passion into everything we do. Yeah, and cool. so bringing that into the sports nutrition line for me was where I got really good. Yeah, because like, I mean, okay, I'm excited is... about a lot, but yeah. sports nutrition? Yeah, come on. This is my bread and butter. Yeah, right. Not okay? only bread and this butter. This is my keto this bread and butter. Is, this butter. Is like my, <laughs> 
this is like my passion. This yes, is why, this is what I live. This is where I live. How I breathe. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we have a really cool line. We just launched it this year. We'll start with kind of the pre-workouts, the BCAAs, the hydration, and then the proteins, which to me is groundbreaking. Yeah. That's yeah. where I was like, we finally did something. Uh, it, or finally to something, meaning I finally found something that I'm like, this is going to change the game. Yeah, this is good stuff. This is going to be different. So, so and you know that I'm super picky about sports nutrition. As you should be. Yeah. I've There's been doing a lot that out all there. my life. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. I actually imported stuff from Australia back in the day before there was testing in the United States because Australia had Yes, they're testing. strict. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so ultimately we, we did that. My wife and I did that. And ultimately one of the, I actually make my own stark nutraceutical lines because I am s extremely particular on where I get stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. That said, mm -hmm. you guys impressed me. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Yay. Yeah. That's yeah. a huge compliment. Yeah. Like no, super it, appreciated. It, it, we worked really hard for it. Yeah. You know? A couple things. So. Like, and I tried your products. Mm -hmm. and use them. In fact, I use, I played basketball last night. Mm -hmm. It was 102 degrees last night when I went on the court. <laughs> sure. And then this morning I got up and worked out, did squats. Mm -hmm. And so I actually used it during my squat workout. Oh, good. Yeah, I really liked it. Good. And I was like, uh, actually impressed with it. Okay. So I'm like, cool. that is a rare moment for me. You, I And I, I we made this mention yesterday when we did the podcast or when we did Facebook and Instagram Live. Uh -huh. I basically said, I hate electrolyte formulas because they give me a headache. Yeah. Which so is so I, interesting because I always think when you have a headache that you probably dehydrated, you right. need it. But for you, it gives you no, headaches. No, it gives me a headache. Yeah, so if I take any type of potassium, magnesium, and, and concentration in too large amount, it gives me a headache. So we're mm -hmm. going to get into that too. Okay. But, so then let's talk about pre-workouts. Okay. okay. Let's start with that you then. Know, pre-workouts yeah. typically end up being uh, obviously a lot of science in pre-workouts. Mm -hmm. Okay. And there's different ways you can roll on a pre-workout. You can do like you know something that's like an arginine base or something that's going to work on circulatory system, yep. improving vasodilation, giving you a pump, as mm -hmm. well as like you know maybe like relaxing the blood vessels, allowing more oxygen into the exactly. system. Exactly. All right. So then you can also do like you can do beta. Uh, you, you, beta alanine. You can, you can do beta alanine. You can do creatine. You can do a lot of these different things, and don't get me wrong, all those things have incredible benefits. The negative with creatine is, especially if it's highly concentrated, you're probably gonna gain a little bit of weight. Yeah, it, it retains that water, right? You get that blow. You build muscle, you do. and you retain water with the muscle. It has its function. It's for, amazing, yeah. I love creatine. It's just maybe not every day as a pre-workout And if I use me. it, I use like 500 milligrams a day, not five, five grams, grams a yeah. day. And yeah. a lot of the pre-workouts are five grams, and so mm -hmm. I'm, I look at that. So then the other thing they do is they crack them out. Because the guy's coming in and they're like, I need a pre-workout. So I'll ask him, I go, do you need a pre-workout because you need to like crack out before your workout? Or do you need a pre-workout because you want to like have energy, have the circulation sustained, feel more pumped, right? yeah. sustained? Mm -hmm. Or do you want a pre-workout because, you know, what's your, what are you looking for? A lot of times it's like, dude, I want to feel like I'm on speed. Okay, well then there you go. That's the <laughs> yeah. one for you, right? Sure. It's 400 milligrams of caffeine plus all the nan nanogens and everything yeah. else that's in there. So how did you form? yours okay so again beta alanine creatine they all have their own place Great we don't have either of those in these because we looked at them a little differently now with the caffeine content because so many different competitors out, out there have like 400 yeah. grams like you said or milligrams excuse me um which is like what three or four or five cups of coffee depending yeah, yeah, on, oh, on yeah, the yeah. size of it it's a pre-workout right. i mean that's intense i can't do that personally that makes my heart go really fast oh, yeah. and I'm the other thing caffeine i can't do caffeine it suppresses my appetite and so when you are lifting for me right. and I want to gain or at least keep my muscle right. levels happy, then you're not it, hungry all day. it doesn't like, work for well, me. Then you so. don't feed back your muscles. Exactly. If you don't feed back your muscles, you're and not going to gain anyways, right? Exactly. Exactly. Oh, so crazy. we wanted to create something that was clean. Now we do have two formulas. One does have caffeine in there. Right. And but one does not. Correct. And one does not. So, so that's the one I used. One for you or I one for really, us, one for them. I really liked it. Mm -hmm. I felt nice energy level. Yep. Real smooth. All day long, never had like a drop off, never had like the jitters, never had this, never had that. So what is the primary ingredient that you think makes this thing work? So obviously, so here's the ingredients, right? Okay. Inosyl arginine silicate, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So I want to talk about that. That's a branded ingredient. Yep. Uh, then it has a citrulline malate, mm -hmm. right? Malic acid, acacia gum, which is just like a fiber. Probiotic so just, fiber. Yeah, so it basically mm -hmm. just doesn't like fall out of solution, right? Correct. Tart cherry blend, which is amazing for like muscle recovery. Yep. And also good for mood and 5-H, uh, actually uh, serotonin production. Mm -hmm. All mm -hmm. right, so tell me about- And Hawthorne. 
yeah. one more in their Hawthorne, oh, which yeah. helps the circulation helps the as well. Circulation. So tell so, me about the branded ingredient, the arginine, yes. the inositol arginine salicylate. Mm -hmm. So that is nitrosigine. Okay, that is right. that branded raw material that you guys see in there. And what's really cool about nitrosigine, again, it's an arginine, right? So when we think of arginine, we think of nitric oxide boosting. We think the vasodilator, right? Just like, you know, when you guys go hiking or, you, you know, you, you know when like, excuse me, you know when you go hiking and then all of a sudden your blood vessels are constricting, right? Right, right. right. So your blood vessels are constricting and then you have less oxygen flow that goes through the body. Sorry about that. My phone went off. So okay. we just kick the phone out of here. Sorry. <laughs> Don't worry. It's probably your right. granddaughter calling no, you. No, it was. You know? It was oh, okay. So it's always I'm a good. FaceTime yeah, call no, from the granddaughter. Really, just so, the work. We no, it. you're good. You're good. So all I was going to say is that when you, when you go for a hike, you know, we start to lose oxygen. We start to feel fatigued. Right. So that's because our blood vessels are constricting, right? So a vasodilator, right, basically it enlarges your blood vessels to allow more oxygen to flow through, right. which in this case gives us a better pump. We can sustain ourselves longer if we're doing running, swimming, hiking, like whatever it is. Nitrosigine is a branded patented raw material that's an arginine silicate that is equivalent. So if you were to consume 1.5 grams, okay, right. of and, nitrosigine, and that's your dose, right? which is our dose. That's your exactly. dose, 1.5 grams, yep. okay, right? That is equivalent to eight grams of citrulline malate, which citrulline malate is also nitric oxide boosting. It's also beneficial for circulation. And so yeah, we but added- eight grams is like a truckload. Exactly. This, so instead know, of taking I mean, five like scoops, yeah. nitrosigine covers so much of that. And then we do add a boost of direct citrulline malate as well. So yeah. you're getting that nitrosigine, that arginine, okay, which is super pat, uh, super uh, potent, excuse me. You're getting the citrulline malate as well. You get malic acid, okay, which typically comes from apples. It kind of works with ATP, it works with the Krebs yeah, cycle. Right. So that cellular energy that yeah. you're getting in yeah. there. Um, and then again, tart cherry, as you mentioned, is good for many things. Hawthorne, really good for circulation. Right. And then I noticed so, it's got grape extract. So it's got mm -hmm. some Grape seed extract. Yep, the antioxidants, right? antioxidants supports. And, right, yeah. Mm -hmm, yeah. Awesome for So very By the way, clean. It has pre-workout with a number one yes. on it, which shows you this is like your in the step first one. step, step one. This is mm -hmm. your step one. Mm -hmm. And we'll show you guys like how you can stack them. Yeah, right. Yeah, like I want to customize it. To talk about a couple of mm -hmm. steps. All right, yeah. so let's talk about phase two. Okay. We got right. two options for phase two. Two options for phase two. We've got two. hydrofuel, right? Right, which is the Zao hydrofuel yep. is that electrolyte formula, right? And then the Zao BCAAs. So, so we I can talk about the electrolyte formula yeah, we because I'm really that. liking it. I yeah. hate electrolytes; they give me headaches. Mm -hmm. I use yours; doesn't give me a headache. I feel good. Mm -hmm. All right. So a couple unique things about it: you're getting all the mineral concentrations from coconut water, water powder. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So now I notice you don't put on the label. 25 milligrams of sodium, 50 mil because right. because it varies depending on the batch that you're getting. Correct. Right. Yeah. yeah. But it's in there. We it know is. it's there. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I always say if you're a real hardcore athlete out there, you're drinking coconut water. Right. Right. Not these other and artificial so here sports holds drinks. Up, heads up. Coconut water gives me a gut ache and flushes me out. So you I can't can, drink it, but I, I can know. drink your coconut water powder, powder. extract, yeah. which makes me excited because I'm like, that actually is a game changer for me. Mm -hmm. I can drink some of the harmless harvest coconut water, mm -hmm. half maybe of the small bottle, and okay. I'm okay. So I'm okay. still. So but it yeah, runs I through you get otherwise. That, yeah, Interesting. So I don't get that cool effect that everybody else gets. Yeah. And so that's what's cool about your formula. It's all there in one, you know, and mm -hmm. it's just, it, it feels and, good. And that's the base is that coconut water powder, right? Yeah. And then we add other ingredients to support that. So we even have what is a 72 trace mineral blend, meaning okay. there's 72 different trace minerals. Where do you get that? And that's kind of fun it's from the salt lake so you're getting the utah salt lake yeah, yeah right. utah salt lake yeah, is awesome really good for mineral, mineral support yeah so literally 72 different trace minerals in there which our body needs to have we've got vitamin d3 in there which is uh, shown to support muscles right, right. It's shown to support like mu muscle health in general right. um and some and other ingredients in that one as well so you're getting a really nice electrolyte blend we've got the sodium the calcium the magnesium and all of that we've got the coconut water base it's a lemon lime yeah. flavor like it it's really cool like spectacular it's it's really good yeah. I love it. No, and this so. I was actually using this morning as we're going along. You know, it's hot today. Mm -hmm. It was like 83 degrees 
in the garage, we're squatting away, and I'm drinking a cold mixture of that, and I'm just like loving life, right? It's, it's good. good. One more ingredient that I want to point out that's in here. Fire away. Is the organic fermented cordyceps mushrooms. Oh, yeah, right. I love cordyceps. Yes. I know. I was just thinking, I was like, wait a minute, isn't this one, right? Yeah, so that's why I was just double checking. But the cordyceps mushroom is known when we think of like, I need it. What mushroom is good for energy support? Right. Right. right? It's cordyceps. Yes. And if you guys want a fun way to remember that, think of the word cord in the word cordyceps. Okay. So in order for energy to start, we plug the cord in. Plug the cord right? in. So yeah. you plug the cord yeah. in with the cordyceps yeah. and that is your energy mushroom. So it's organic, it's fermented, and it's the preferred form to so give you energy. So what am I thinking on that too is, I've used cordyceps probably for 25, 30 years, right? Mm -hmm. So in the cordyceps, it's a bronchial dilator. Mm -hmm. It balances the yin and yang, so it helps post, pre, and all during the workout. Mm -hmm. And then it also helps you sleep better. That's a great formula. Yeah, it's nice really, job. really nice. Yeah. All right. So that's the hydrofuel. Let's hydro talk about fuel. branch chains. And so this is a number two, by the yep, way. Step by two. the way, you can use this during your workout, yeah. after your workout. And it's not to say you can use it before. Yeah, it's you can just, just use it on the days that you feel dehydrated. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. So another number, step number two, is the branch chains. By the way, it's available in capsule. I don't know if I brought the capsules up. Oh, I don't think yeah, I did, we do. So. We have a capsule form yeah, a capsule or form, a powder so, form, yeah, whatever right. you guys prefer. Um, and this one as well, they both just, you guys know, 30 servings. So it's a really nice, you know, good month supply yeah, in them. Yeah. But what's also cool about this one is it is a vegan formula. Right. A lot of BCAAs or just even amino acids are coming duck. from duck feathers, yeah, things like yeah, that. Right. And we don't think about that. It doesn't look well, like yeah. it when you buy it. Yeah. You know, so it's just as efficacious meaning it works just as well as if it, let's say, wasn't vegan, but we found a nice vegan source. Yeah, cool, so you have that cool in there, source. the leucine, you know, the isoleucine, right. the valine in there. We and also then you have add a little citrulline malate in citrulline here. Citrulline malate. So you're still getting a little bit of that pump as well. And a little bit of uh, beets. Yeah, a little beetroot, but and not- And coconut water too. can't taste it though. You yeah. can't taste the beets, which is nice because beets no, you throw can't, people by the off. Way. Yeah. I, I pounded this. It's almost like tasteless mm -hmm. when it comes to anything other than- It's a know, tropical the, the punch normal, flavor. Yeah, the so, flavor itself. Yeah, and coconut water, again, that is the base because for us that makes sense right the hydration so you could do the hydro fuel again even if you're lifting weights you could do the hydro fuel but like on leg days i like yeah. like the bcaa's oh, right yeah, like i yeah, want yeah, that yeah, hard yeah. pump maybe on other days where maybe i'm kind of burning out i might do the hydro fuel and then i actually love to mix half and half into one yeah. so, so i'm kind of getting a, a little bit of both right worlds. There, the half and yeah. half in my boat that's yeah i use delicious. brand chains before and after every workout yeah without fail mm -hmm. i have since like 1993 yeah so. i mean that's the building blocks oh, yeah. of your well, muscles that, that's what feeds your muscles yeah it does and the way I kind of describe BCAs is a little bit different. I, I describe it like this. And let's say we're going to build a block wall. Okay. okay. So we're going to build a block wall. And so ultimately what we have in the block wall, we've got concrete, we've mm -hmm. got blocks, and we've got workers, right? Yep. So the workers have to get to work. And so what branch chains do is they actually stimulate intracellular actions in the muscle tissue to start synthesizing muscle tissue. Mm -hmm. So the BCAs not only act as cement, they actually activate the workers as well too. But let's talk about the bricks. We need the proteins now. We need the bricks yep. post-workout. So, number three. Protein. Protein, number okay. three. All, All right. right. This is this is the one. This is the one that, like I said, is this is a game changer, okay? And I'll break it down for you guys why. We'll take a little protein history understanding before we even yeah. get to the product. There is a scoring system called, I call it PDCAS. What do you call it? PCDAs. P PDCA, there you go. Yeah. I'm like, oh, I'm so used to saying PDCAS, but it's- Yeah, say whatever you want to say. Yeah, it yeah. stands for protein, digestibility, corrected amino acid score. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And this is the scoring system. So for example, if I had 10 different types of protein in front of me, a whey protein, a soy protein, a pea protein, a hemp protein, you name it. Right. And I want to understand, okay, which one is the best or most complete protein? Yeah. Digestible. Like, is yes. it going to get into my body? Is mm -hmm. it actually going to repair my body up and do what it needs to do? Right. Is it going to absorb? Does it have all the amino acids needed? Right. Like understanding that. So this PDCAS is this national scoring system and it tells you, Okay, from a zero to one, one being the best, right. how do these proteins rank? Right. 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 And if you guys are familiar with whey, as we know, is our number yeah, one selling gold, protein, gold standard, right? Yeah. The, gold standard, the gold standard. That is a PDCAS score of one. Right. So that hits the top. Might, right. It's actually a little bit.
little bit more, but yeah, it's, it is. It sits well, there. Well, they bring saying, it down to a one. It's actually a one point four yep. or one point five. Mm-hmm. So they bring it, and that's the reason why it's superior to typically most. So, but anyways, keep on with the yes. story. So, so whey sits at a one, right? Then we could look at pea. We could look at rice. We could look at hemp, and they kind of sit between the zero point four, zero point yeah, five, zero point six, maybe sevens, and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, they can go you know? go up high. Yeah, they're really not there by themselves, are they? Right, and so typically, like the whey, even the casein, even the egg white proteins or the egg proteins 